in this short video series we are aiming on attempting and break down the questions that are given in the University of London exam papers. Our focus is to address and tailor, cater our answers to the expectations, guidelines, requirements of the examiner rather than writing short notes. So in this short video series, we will go through certain most commonly repeated questions at the exam at University of London exams for both first year, second and third years. And we will give you a very basic two minutes breakdown of these questions. Hopefully this uh, breakdowns uh, will help you to enrich your answers and score well, get a good first classes, second uppers at the exam. Wish you all the best and stay tuned with this video series. Privity and frustration. These are two areas that students are often very scared of in the contract law examination paper for the first year. What is privity and what is frustration? I will introduce you with, uh, within two minutes for these concepts. Privity means if A and B has a contract between them, A and B provide consideration, they provide the value. So only A can get benefit and B can get benefit as well. And A can be burdened and B can be burdened. That means privity means only parties to the contract can get the benefit and parties to the contract can get the burden. Third parties cannot get the benefit or the burden as per the strict application of privity. So the important point here is the fact that there are many exceptions for privity under common law, such as agency, trust, collateral, multiple booking, etc. Whereas under statute, under the Contract Rights of Third Parties Act 1999, Section 1 offers statutory exceptions against privity. So you need to know the concept of privity, statutory exceptions and common law exceptions. What then is frustration? Frustration is completely different than privity. Frustration is whenever there is an unforeseeable situation occurs in the middle of a contract. Let's say we have a plan to have a concert at ABC concert hall and the concert hall is now burned to the ground. So this is an unforeseeable situation which makes it impossible for the contract to take place or the concert to take place in this hall as the hall is now burned down. So when it comes to frustration, you look at the unforeseeable scenario. Remember the issues of force majeure clauses. That means we put certain clauses which says, okay, if this gets burnt down to the ground, we will go for a different menu. And this means this force majeure clause the clause which says, okay, if it happens, we will go for this. This makes the event foreseeable. So the force major clause can prevent frustration from taking place. Also, look at the statutory provisions governing frustration as well. That will be also very helpful when it comes to recovery. All the best students when you are attempting these two areas.